Hello and thank you so much for tuning in at Janil Hair Collection. Today we are going to learn a step by step on how to make this type of artificial locks and this is fluffy kinky and I've mixed number 30 and 27 to make up this type of color that you're seeing. So this is what I'll be using and then I have the black uh, the black kinky hair also i'll be using uh, this this is after unraveling the hair and at the same time after brushing so this is how it looks like and for now i'll have to uh, start doing my artificial lock so i'm going to take this particular section so that i begin with my tucking i'm sorry it's raining i don't know if you can hear it on my background but uh, let's do this so i have to fold the hair backwards like that so there we go and then i have to uh, fold it I mean I, I'll have to press the hair a little bit like that so that my uh, tail will be a uh, neat and then that's how I start uh, doing my tucking and this is how I do it I just let the crochet go in and then I pick a small a small a section of the hair from the other side I hope you can see that so I let the crochet go in and then I pick a very small section of hair on the other side so i'd love for you to give me your attention because i'm only going to do a one a strand so i do hope uh, you're giving me your attention so that you'll get everything right and at the same time you'll have to forgive me because i was trying to uh, put these as close uh, close to the camera so that you will have to see clearly what happened when I do tacking and make my artificial lock so that's why I found like I was recording to the side so I'm sorry for that but I do hope uh, you can see clearly what I'm trying uh, to do so there we go so when I do this type of artificial locks I do go through three steps and the first step and that is what i'm doing now i just randomly tuck in the hair so that i'll have I'll, i mean my my artificial lock will fall then the second step will just be uh, trying to tuck in all excess hair above uh, my lock as i tighten but not uh, too much and then uh, the third uh, step is palm rolling and palm rolling is very very important because it hides all your tucking and make your artificial locks uh, look more natural so for now i'm just uh, going randomly tucking in the hair yeah i'm just tucking in the the i mean the hair in and out in and out it's like i do say i use a clockwise and anti-clockwise a move i mean movement from what you're seeing so you can just see my thumb on my left uh, on my left hand it's moving on the other side and then my right hand as i as i let my crochet go in through the hair it's pulling the hair on the other side so i call that clockwise and then on the other side i call that anti-clockwise so for now this is how my first uh, step i uh, look like and i'm not yet satisfied so i'm going to repeat it yeah i'm going to repeat my first step so there we go i'll just do the same thing not, nothing uh, does change so i'm just uh, picking a small a small a section of the hair as i tucking i hope you can see that and i would love to tell you the first time trying this it will be very very hard because your hands are not used to it and you will find yourself uh, sticking yourself because uh, you are not your hands are not used to uh, hold the crochet so when you're going to try uh, this for the first uh, time you will have to expect that and then if you keep on trying over and over it becomes easy and you'll be i mean it will be fast like how i'm doing it now like my hands are used to it so for now my first uh, step is done i hope you can see that 
and my lock has formed and i'm just going on the second step that is now trying to attack in all excess hair above my lock as i make it more neat and it's just the same thing nothing has changed i'm just working clockwise and anti-clockwise so i do hope you're finding uh, this video helpful and i do hope you're going to try this and at the same time uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and at the same time before i forget if you're coming across Janine hair collection for the first time i feel welcome here we do more of uh, this type of artificial locks and at the same time i do uh, other uh, type of hairstyle and for now if you want to follow up more of this like artificial locks make sure you uh, turn on a notification bell on so that you'll be uh, notified anytime any day that i do upload a video and at the same time don't forget to uh, subscribe and to my channel because it does count a lot it keeps me going and at the same time it keeps me motivated so please do mind on subscribing and for now i'll have to just take the black apart and then split it into two and now i'll have to join them uh, together and here is where you just need to be careful where the two are meeting you just need to take your time uh, i mean take your time to uh, to tuck in the hair so that it will be intact and no one will notice where the two are meeting so from what you're seeing uh, when I do, uh, when I do uh, mix the two parts together, I'll have to take my time and tuck in the hair well and try to hide the black part so that it won't be seen. And I'm just doing the same thing. Nothing has changed yeah. So going forward, I hope you are going uh, to try this. This is very, very easy. But it will be easy if you keep on uh, trying. Try it over and over. And it will come uh, to perfection. So for now, I'm just joining. I've, I've joined the black part. And I'm just doing the same thing. Using the same uh, direction. Yeah, I'm just using the same direction and then when I'm done, I'll have now again to repeat, to repeat the same thing until uh, it's neat. So you can just see for now, I'll have to repeat uh, tucking in where the two are meeting. Yeah, so I'll have to tuck in a uh, well so that the black part will be hidden. And that's how I normally uh, do to come up with this type of artificial locks that you've been seeing me doing it over and over. So for now, I just have to thank you for taking your time and watch this up to this uh, particular time. Uh, thank you so much for not uh, skipping anything so that you get it right and like i said earlier don't forget to uh, share this with a friend and at the same time i uh, leave your comment let me know how you do this let me know the challenges that you do face when you do this type of hair and for now i'll have to go on my third uh, step which is palm rolling and you can just use any type of uh, hair moisturizer or a uh, petroleum jelly just to protect your palm just use a little bit and then when you're palm rolling is not just palm rolling you need to press the hair down here so that your lock will be a uh, more natural because palm rolling help to hide all your tacking and your i mean your artificial locks will be now ready for installation and for now i only used uh, three packets yeah i i did use uh, three packets and I came up with 80, 80 pieces of artificial locks the way you're seeing so for now I'm done yes I'm done uh, doing I'm done doing the artificial locks that we've begun uh, with you since I started doing this and for now we are done so you can see this is so beautiful and I did came up with 80 pieces of 
artificial lock so this is ready for installation and the good thing about this hair it doesn't expire and the more you use uh, this hair it will be it i mean it will tear out and it will be more more natural and you can use it over and over and over again until you get tired so thank you so much for taking the time to follow up this a step by step until we are done i hope you find this helpful so don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up so i'll have to stop right by here and i'll have to see you on my next uh, video